Welcome. You know, the teaching that is reinforced over and over again, <clears throat> that comes in from so many directions, is that there only is the self. That what separates you from tasting the reality of your nature <clears throat> are opinions. For every opinion there is its opposite. And all opinions are subjective. And everything that is subjective is imaginary. There is nothing subjective about the self. There are no opinions in the self. And what is the self? It is the feeling of your being. It is that which is everywhere. Everywhere. And the self is infinite. It's infinite. And the self is always now. Your existence, you exist always now. And the feeling of that existence is the feeling of the self. It's not something to attain. The mind is the attaining machine. It is what is right here. The self is always here for your existence is always here. If you take a trip, your existence does not change. If you're in an argument, your existence does not change. For every position, there is its opposite. Every position will be played in this dreamscape, attempting to lure the attention into having opinions about right and wrong. But every opinion is equally false. There is no opinion that holds greater truth in it than any other opinion. They are the programming of the mind and the opinions that surface are all regurgitated repetitively for the absolute humility that is ready to let go of opinion. And then what happens when opinion is let go of? What remains? when opinion is let go of, is the wholeness, the wholeness of your existence that is free of any opinion. Opinions may arise in the mind body, but that no longer affects you when it has been turned over. For what is opinionless is reality. It's what is always here, always now. The feeling of yourself, which is everywhere equally. And when you feel yourself, you realize 
that you are in fact the presence that is vibrating and alive, that the mind body appears within it like a hologram carrying out its karmic play, having opinions at times. When you are identified as the character and there is opinion, the opinion is problematic. It creates a sense of separation. But when you are resting in your nature, an opinion tries to arise in the character what actually happens is the opinion is humbled away into nothing. You discover you are the nothing that is everything. For there is not one speck that is not the self. The self is totality. There are no individual characters in the feeling of totality, but there is the feeling of life, of your heart, of the oneness that is alive right in this moment. You are not defined by the mind body. You are aware of the mind body. You are not defined by the awareness. The awareness falls into itself and it is not definable. It is the feeling of the self. It is the luminous feeling of the self. The self does not go to sleep and wake up. The self does not do chores. This is all a holographic representation within the infinite space, the infinite space of conscious awareness. Conscious awareness is felt with the heart. It takes great courage to live a life when the heart is always open because the play brings around the temptation to make opinions and create the feeling of right and wrong and separation. But you cannot be freed if you are not freed of all your conditioned habits. And in order for your conditioned habits to be freed, they must come up. From where are they coming? They are coming from the self. The self does not have volition or choice, but it will replicate as this holographic image, all of the things that created forgetting. And these are the things that protection has created opinion about. So you watch. You watch the tendencies. You realize you're not defined by the tendencies. You're just watching these tendencies arising, seeing that it is all just this stimulus response mechanism, remaining open in the heart that is untouched by any of it. The feeling of being does not change. The feeling of yourself does not change. What is on the screen is constantly changing or it appears so. But when you look directly into reality, reality is this moment. This moment is felt. It is the unchanging reality of your being. Taking the hands off the wheel, letting the life play itself, feeling the unbroken nature of being, which is where all the joy and beauty lives, and recognizing all of the tendencies for the mind to grab onto something, to create opinion, 
causing the experience of separation, causing re-identification, all of this playing for the ripe one who is ready to turn it all over, not to be seen, not to be right, not to be heard, but to turn it all over. And then there is no one at the helm. When there is no one at the helm, what moves through is the expression of unity consciousness, unity, all one, the feeling of the oneness of the self and the flavor of yourself that is immersed in the self. And this is so glorious. It's so alive right now. It's not in a location. What is in a location is imagination of perception. The feeling of yourself is obviously not in a location, but locationless. It cannot be described because it is not an object of perception, but the locationless reality of the unity of consciousness that you discover to be yourself and you will be tested over and over again for the character's conditioned way of responding with opinions, always repetitive. Pure innocence really only causes disturbance when it is identified with. But each time it is identified with, it is an opportunity to just turn it over instead of to latch on to the opinion, remain protected by the mind and experience yourself as separate in a world of good and bad and right and wrong. But the fundamental question is where does all of this come from? Where does it all come from? And then there is the grace and the gratitude in the recognition of this incredible intelligence, this infinite intelligence that is working everything with the opportunity to let go of all conditioned positions and see where the conditioned positions come from. It's like the pure light of consciousness moves into the machinery and the byproduct is opinion, but it's being played for the possibility of witnessing the whole process as opposed to identifying with a repetitive old stale story. Your consciousness is not stale. It is ever fresh, ever alive, infinitely here, completely available because it is the feeling of yourself letting all things do whatever they are going to do and just feeling yourself, which is already here, which is inseparable, which is unified, which is the infinite field of being. It is not about what your perception sees as me. It is not about what your perception sees as you. It is recognizing that perception appears. To whom does perception appear? To the I character. Who is the I character? You dive in and you discover it's a facade. It's an appearance. You dive into the eye and you discover yourself, the self, 
the undivided self, which is wildly alive right now. So beautiful, where the play of separation is so problematic when it is identified with. And as soon as there is identification and there is the feeling this is problematic, the humble one lets go of the positions and beliefs. Let's go with the conditioning is held on to so tight. And then the byproduct is the grace of pure humility, which is pure totality, which is vibrantly alive, always. It's always here because it is the nature of existence. And when you feel the nature of your existence, it comes alive, it comes alive. And there is this rippling effect where the whole field of consciousness becomes alive, realizing that it is consciousness remembering itself not an individual holding an opinion of what is wrong and right and trying to make the wrong right. The wrong is the opinion itself. It's not really wrong, it's just conditioning. But it is ignorance when it is identified having the humility to let go of all position. And then you taste the beauty. If you're busy trying to attain the taste of the beauty, this is coming from an opinion that something is higher than where you sit now. There is nothing to strive for. It is a letting go of opinions. It is letting go of mind and feeling what remains, <clears throat> feeling what remains. And when the feeling of this is in the foreground, then what moves the character comes directly out of the self. And movement that comes directly out of the self is the movement of love. Love is what brings the unmanifest expression into manifest existence. For when the flavor of you meets the flavor of me, there is the taste of love. When the flavor of you meets the flavor of a forest, there is the flavor of love. When the flavor of you receives the beauty of a great symphony, there is the taste of love. There is the passion of the heart. There is the aliveness of the self waking up to itself. It's what the whole life's mission is about. It's not about understanding. Understanding is of the mind. It's about understanding nothing. It's not about having a strong knowingness in your mind that you know what freedom is, that you know what is right, that you know what you're after. It's not knowing anything. And then there's nothing you're after. And then the mind relaxes and you taste what cannot disappear. You cannot disappear. Whether the body is awake or sleeping, you do not sleep, you cannot disappear. Your existence remains. No matter what is going on with the body, the existence remains. When it is challenging, the attention has fallen away from the feeling of your existence and it's gotten locked into a repeat of the stimulus response habit. 
So you watch it when it comes up. You realize it is the wisdom that is ordaining this, that all the pawns are being played in your dream that everything that you experience is your dream. There is nothing but the experience of your dream, which is a dream where all the players are being worked. And there is the experience of the self when the particulars of the dream are turned over and you taste the oneness, the beauty, the light There are no borders or boundaries to yourself. This is the grace and that self is always here. This is the grace. Freedom is always here, always everywhere, always alive. Without opinion, without mind, without location not in time, but the simple feeling of being, the pure innocence of being. Being untouched, for your nature remains untouched. Right here, right now, the untouched nature of yourself. It is so beautiful. Your nature is so beautiful. It is such grace to even have just a simple taste. A taste of reality. taste of eternity, a taste of totality, the unified field of conscious awareness that is the remedy for all the misunderstandings that have come up based on the conditioning of opinion. 